Hey everybody, it's Max here for the fourth episode of the M Films 2000 Film School. Yes, I'm calling it that now. We are now doing tutorials for the M Films 2000 Film School, so if you like this, make sure to subscribe to M Films 2000. Anyway, today I'm going to be teaching you in a new exciting tutorial that I was experimenting with. It's based off of lightning, but it looks more like a digital spreading. I think it looks really cool. Okay, everybody, so to start off, we're going to go to Composition, New Composition. Then we're going to go, we're going to title this Digital Spread. Make that 10 seconds because that's a very basic thing. You can have it be whatever you want here. Then click OK. So now you have this. Right now you're going to go to Layer, New, Solid. Title this Spread spread have it be black because right now it doesn't look like anything's changed on the screen however there is now a big black solid right there so now over in the effects and presets uh, tab we are going to type in one minute we are going to type in lightning okay there are several different lightning effects However, the most customizable one is Advanced Lightning. So now you have Advanced Lightning. It's this really cool looking effect that you can play around with. Now that looks cool on its own, however, that's not much of a tutorial if I just told you how to bring in an effect. So the first thing that we're going to do to get a really cool effect is go to Direction, Bouncy. Now you have this wild, laggy, little spidery creation that looks like the lights of a city. Okay, okay, right now you can't really see much on that because of such a large glow. So you're going to go over here to the effect controls, go to glow settings, and turn the glow radius to zero. Now, you have this really cool looking spidery effect. And also if you lose the controls to allow you to move it around, just change the conductivity state a little bit. It'll bring them right back. Okay, right now you can move this around, get that however you want it, that's pretty cool. However, that does not really matter. Okay, so right now you have this cool spidery effect. But to make it look more decaying, you can turn or you can click decay main core that looks cool doesn't it it removed a lot of the spidery effects but still looks cool however we're not going to settle for just that so go to the very beginning turn down delay like this or decay sorry at the very beginning make a keyframe and turn decay to completely decayed so now that is at 1, and then go to the very end, make another keyframe, turn it down to 0. Actually, if you don't like this, which I don't like that, it's a bit too much, turn the decay down to say this much, sorry about that pixelation there, turn the decay down to like this much. Now that still looks really cool, however, it goes out very quickly, it goes like that, and then all of a sudden, everything happens right there. So right now you're going to click on this little graph icon right here, the graph editor. Then you're going to click on this. Now we're going to try to make this be as steep of a curve as we possibly can. No. Okay, now we're back. You just have to get this up. Sorry, I couldn't figure out how to do that. Now you're going to turn this and move it down. So now you have a very nice, flat, steep curve right here that leads into this flat line. Now if you turn the graph editor off, sorry, I just uploaded my Final Cut Pro tutorial, it very slowly fades into that. That looks very nice. 
Okay, so now the next thing that you're going to do, you can just play around with these settings. And I'm going to teach you my optimal settings. I like to turn the glow radius up just a bit. So now you have that cool looking glow. I think that looks really cool. This could be used as a city lights or something like this. City lights are not a city lights. And then you can turn up really whatever you want. I personally like to turn the complexity down. So now, oops, I screwed that up. If you turn the complexity down, you get a bit more um, like a more sci-fi effect. So in between 5 and 6.5, let's try 5.5. Okay, it does not go to 5.5. Now that still looks cool. However, now we can change the fork distance. So now it can either fork wider, fork longer, or stay closer. I personally think wide looks really cool. Now you can just continue to play around with these core settings. You can change the core radius up or down. That does not matter. The core opacity, you can make it become more or less, um, I don't know how to say that, opacityic. Don't quote me on that, it's not right. And then to change the conductivity state, it pretty much just changes how it looks. So if we go through here, it fades out and slowly becomes much more. Now that looks pretty cool, doesn't it? Okay, thank you everybody for watching this tutorial. I hope it will help you do some CG animation in your future videos. And so, if you like this video, please subscribe. This is Max Weber from the M Films 2000 Film School, and I will see you in my next tutorial.